Hello everybody, my name is Brad Mason. I'm the pioneer field agronomist in Western Illinois. One of the biggest questions I'm receiving this year is around soil crusting. So I wanted to take a second, really describe what we're seeing in the soils across the area. And most importantly, what's causing it? How can we protect it or protect the crop that's already in the ground and save it possibly? So you may not know it, but there are actually three types of crusting that can occur. There's chemical, which happens in arid and semi-arid areas where we have a high deposit of salt on the soil that encrusts it. That's something we don't deal with very much around here. The other one is biological, which is something when if you have a creek bottom, you farm next to the rivers, you might have experienced this where the water comes out, it stands for a while and it starts to recede and you get an algae bloom or a moss bloom and it crusts over that soil. That could be something you could experience. The other one that we deal with the most is a physical or structural type of crust. What we see when that happens is, is that we have typically worked our soils or we have soils that are pretty loose. A lot of our soils across the area are pretty mellow. We're very fortunate for that. However, when we get rain events, whether it's a heavy rain or a light rain, we start to melt that soil back together. We start to put that structure and kind of condense it together. And then when we rapidly dry it, we start to develop this, a crust. We're very fortunate so far, we haven't had that major rain event with the large droplets and a high frequency. So we're very fortunate so far, but what we do have is the rapid drying. So as you watch that, we need to make sure you're out here looking at your fields to see how thick this crust is. You can see in this field, it is just developing. It's not very hard. I can very easily crumble it. That is good because as I started to dig around, I have a corn crop that's not too far from popping up. It's supposed to be 90 the next couple days. I expect to see this stuff come right through this crust. The question might be, how can I protect myself from this crust? Or if I have a crop in here, how do I save the crop I have if my crust is a little thicker than this? This field was planted on April 27th. So it's been in the ground a little over uh, 12 days currently. So when we watch this, what I look for in this environment, this is a very clay-based soil, a timber farm might call it. And one of the things this farmer did is he no-tilled it. The reason they no-tilled it is because they knew this soil structure can go from basically wet to hard like that. And one of the ways to protect your soils from basically crusting is to go to an, into a no-till environment. And that can really help make sure that that soil doesn't melt together and seal over. The other thing you can do is keep high residue. We see that in no-till environments, but that high residue will actually protect you from when those raindrops fall on the soil. It won't allow that soil to take direct contact and basically wash together. So that is another way you can protect it. We all know the easiest way to protect uh, the crop that's in the ground, and that's a rotary hoe. Nobody likes to do it, and I'm not a big fan of them either, but sometimes it is necessary. The biggest thing I've learned around rotary hoes is when you think you're supposed to run it, you're supposed to run it a day before. Because a lot of times that crust can get so hard so quick, we miss our opportunities. So I encourage you, if you have a crop in the ground, to make sure you're going out and checking your fields through these 80, 90 degree days as we're rapidly drying and these soils are heating up to make sure you can define where that crust is and how close that crop is to coming up. Because we have to be careful because we're collecting 20 plus GDUs a day currently and this crop is shooting out of the ground faster than some people think. Just because you looked at the field yesterday doesn't mean it looks the same today. Go out, scout, see where that crust is and see where that crop is and see if it's beneficial for you to go out and try and break that crop uh, crust up. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.